you got it going on. What, 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 you got it going on. What, what. All right, so if y'all see a brown mark on my shirt, just know that that's foundation. Was I going to change my shirt for this video? Hell no, because I already did my face, I already did my hair, and maybe that was a process itself, so I am not changing my shirt. What's up, Urban Mafia? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Shay Shakur, bitch. The only Urban Goddess on this YouTube platform like sis. Did you forget? So today in this video, I'll be doing the get to know me tag. I will be answering at least 10 questions because now that I think about it, I feel like I've been on YouTube for like two years. No, bitch. What? I've been on YouTube for at least like three, maybe four years, and I haven't done not one get to know me tag. And I don't even think y'all really know me for real, except that I'm a girl that got cheated on a lot. And I like to do hair. I like to wear wigs and Y'all don't know me for real. So, unless you like actually go back and listen to my old story time videos, but those are cringy. So, yeah. Hello, everyone. Hello. How are you guys today? I'm doing quite lovely. <laughs> Yo, I'm really hella ill. Like, really hella ill. What the fuck? What the fuck? So, let's just go ahead and get into it. If you are a new subscriber, if you're new, hey girl, hey, subscribe, like, comment, do all that good stuff, and let's go ahead and get into it. And if we have some things in common, like, please let me know because, y'all, please let me know because I can't be the only person like this on earth. All right, are you named after anyone? I feel like I said this in a couple of my videos, but I don't really think y'all really know. But yes, I am named after someone. My dad actually named me, and he named me after the girl that he cheated on my mom with. But he said that he named me after a girl that he thought was so pretty. So basically, he named me after another female, and my mama didn't know until, you know, months done passed, and she learned about another girl named Shayla. And yeah, my dad named me after another female. Who is she? I don't know, but yeah, my name is Shayla and I'm named after the other bitch. Question two, what is your favorite smell? Um, I love the smell of burning wood. I love the smell of gas, McDonald's fries, oh, cinnamon buns. But like my favorite smell is like burning wood. I guess that's why I love the fall slash winter time because around this time, that's when you smell a whole lot of people burn wood and leaves. And I was raised in the country. So we used to make fires all the time, bonfires. We used to do that all the time. So I love the smell of wood. If not wood, then gas. Like. I love the smell of gas. Where were you born? I was born in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Broward County. I'm a city girl originally, but now I'm in the Peach State, Georgia. So yeah, I'm a city girl. Being on that, being about that. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I was born in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. What's your zodiac sign? What question is this? What's your zodiac sign and do you believe in it? Y'all, okay, so my birthday is November 22nd. So, some horoscope says I'm a Scorpio. Some say I'm a Sagittarius. I'm like right there on that borderline. So, I believe I'm born on the cups, but really, I feel more connected to a Sagittarius. So, I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a fire sign. Y'all. <laughs> and yes, I believe in it because like all my best friends are like people that I'm compatible with, which is Aquarius, Leos. I love Aquarius. Like we just get together like we get along like this. Uh, I love Leos. Uh, I'm cool with Aries. Like I met one Aries and she's like my baby. It's like I get along with all the fire signs, which is me, Sagittarius, a Leo and the Aries. I love Aquarius. I love Libras. They get on my nerves sometimes, but I can mess with Libras. But yeah, I believe in my zodiac sign. Sagittarius, comment down your zodiac sign down below. Who was your first best friend? My first best friend was this girl named Anaya. Me and her was best friends like throughout our entire elementary school career until we hit middle school and things just got a little shaky. Me and her started liking different things and maybe girls started talking crazy on Facebook, you know that nasty stuff and I wasn't down with that. I wasn't down talking freaky on the internet. So me and her, we just parted ways. 
What is one of your most embarrassing moments you had in school? Well, y'all, to be honest, I have a few. I have a few, but I'm just gonna say the first one that popped in my head, uh, elementary school. <laughs> elementary school. Actually, a lot of stuff happened to me at elementary school. Like, I wore a fake ponytail. My cousin snatched my fake ponytail out in front of everybody. Uh, I ran into the door by mistake, like the cafeteria door. I ran into the cafeteria door. That was super embarrassing. Everybody laughed at me. But this, okay, I was in the computer lab and I had to use the bathroom. We was taking like some type of test. It was very important. And the teacher, she wouldn't let me go to the bathroom. So I sat in my chair and I just peed on myself. Like, it's like I could have easily just walked out, but I was like super scared. Like I really wasn't about that. And she didn't let me get up and use the bathroom. So I peed on myself. And while I was peeing on myself, I was just crying while I'm peeing because it's like, damn, it's picture day. I have to pee. And I have the picture of me peeing on myself that day. Like I have the picture of me taking my picture after I peed on myself. Like I was just crying. I had to walk around in my pissy ass dress until my mama could come to school and you know, give me some new clothes. But that was like the worst. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? Um, I believe I'm an introvert, but I feel like my personality confuses people because it's like I'm not an introvert when I'm around the people that I'm comfortable with. But I don't initiate a whole lot of conversation sometimes because I just I don't know. I don't say I'm not gonna say I feel like I'm better than other people, but it's just I just don't I just don't put myself out there. And honestly, there's some days where I'll talk all day to you and then there'll be like the other couple days I will not talk to you, I will not text you, I will not respond. You will see me post on social media, but like I'll go days without talking to you, then I'll hit you back up. So, I mean, yeah, I'll say I'm an introvert. What is the least favorite thing about yourself? I'll say that if I genuinely care about someone and I want them in my life, friendship wise or relationship wise, I'll try to make it work. Even when I know that I didn't do anything wrong and they don't want to be in my life, I will always try to make it work because once I'm into you, I'm into you. Like once you're in my life and I made a bond with you, it's like I don't want to cut no ties because it's like I'm very passionate about all the relationships that I have in my life. Friendships, co-workers, like if you're my friend, you're my friend. If you're my nigga, you're my nigga. I give people that I care about way too many chances and yeah, that's just, yeah. Funniest moment throughout school. Okay, I have one moment and this video is actually on YouTube and I'ma just answer the clip when whenever I finish telling y'all. So I was in high school and Basically, I was feeling myself that day. So we had like these school announcements or whatever. So I seen the camera and I was like, okay, I'm gonna be on a school announcement, you know, in the background. So let me, you know, strut my stuff or whatever. Like if you look at the video, you could tell that I was really feeling myself and I was trying to put on for the camera. But I was really looking good that day. So our school is big on, uh, what's that word? Recycling. The school I went to is like big on recycling. So while they was recording us, you know, walking down the hallways, it was this recycling bin right there. Didn't think nothing about it because you'll see random recycling bins everywhere. So while we're walking, we're walking to lunch, this scary mask face looking person hopped out the trash can and said, booga, 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 booga. And basically y'all, I just took off running, like not even running, bitch, I was speed walking. Like I reacted like, so late but like once i actually seen the mask like i don't know y'all but that was like one of the funniest moments in school because once they dis displayed it like once they showed it on the uh the morning school cast or whatever everyone was laughing they was like shayla i seen you on the newscast and blah 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 and i was like y'all <laughs> i was just trying to look cute for the cameras i was not expecting to get like scared like that like no not at all ever betrayed a friend I never betrayed a friend I feel like if I ever fall out with somebody it's not on my part I feel like it's on their part or maybe sometimes we just grew apart and we just stop talking to each other that's just life 
but I never betrayed a friend. Like, if I'm your friend, I'm your friend. Like, if you don't have money to buy you something to eat, I'll buy you something to eat. I'm not even looking forward to you paying me back. Ooh. I'm not even looking forward to you paying me back. If you need some gas money and I got it, I will give it to you. Again, you don't have to pay me back because if I'm down on my luck and I'm hungry, I would expect for you to buy me something to eat and not expect me to pay you back unless I know you like in a really sticky situation and you got a bill to pay. And I'm like, okay, bitch, you, you loan me $10, I'll give you $10 back. You know what I'm saying? But like, if you're my friend, you're my friend and I got you, period, regardless. And last question, because I really feel like I did more than 10. Uh, let's see. Three things that upset you. Okay, so boom. First thing that upset, upset me is people that don't have like no loyalty like if i've been nothing but good to you and you just end up screwing me in the end like i really hate that like unloyal people like do you not have a heart like do you not have a heart like i i don't understand like i don't understand how people can cross you the way you don't like if i don't do you like that don't cross me like don't do me like that if i don't do you like that so i hate unloyal people unloyal people that upset me um I hate freeloaders, like, I hate bum bitches, like, bum niggas, like, bum people, people that don't have no goals or inspirations, they don't know what they want to do, they not doing anything, trying to better themselves, like, I dated a couple niggas that didn't have no job, but they'll stay home all day, eating, playing a game, but they always got some weed, how you ain't got no job, but you always got weed, you always, you know what I'm saying, you ain't doing nothing. Like, I just don't like bum people. You have to have goals. You have to have ambition. Do something with yourself. Like, do something. That's that's nothing that upset me. People that just talk about other people for no reason. I guess now that I'm grown, uh, I don't really get into that gossip and stuff. Like, I really don't be on that anymore now. Catch me back when I was like 18, 19, 17. I was on that gossiping, talking about people appearances, people hair and stuff. Like back then I used to talk like hella shit about people, but it's like now I don't talk about nobody for real. I don't care about how you look in public. Like I don't be on that. So I just hate being around people that just gossip for no reason. Like my old friend, she would be like, oh, she is so fucking ugly. And I'm like, damn, like, what's she do to you? Like, what's she do to you? Like, I think she's pretty. Like, I just don't be talking about people for no reason. Like, you really have to piss me off to make me, like, feel some type of way I want to talk about you. But I don't like people that just still be on that gossip and stuff. Because at a certain age, it's like, put up or shut up. If you're not going to do nothing about it, then why are you talking? And also, I do want to say that I am getting better with these frontals. Like... I am getting better, I am improving. So give me a thumbs up for that because y'all, frontals, it takes time. Like over time, you'll get better and better and better. And I did a damn thing with this. But yeah, y'all, that is the get to know me tag. If me and you have some things to comment, let me know in the comment section. We might just be soul sisters. I already have one, so it wouldn't hurt to have another one. But uh, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so, 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 so much, Urban Mafia. Y'all don't understand. I love y'all. And I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.